So imagine being able to create an article at the click of a button that is between 1,000 to 2,000 words long with all the correct headings and bullet points and paragraphs and at the same time being optimized for search engines. Well, this is exactly what Content at Scale promises to do and it's very different to any other AI writing tool that I've tested. Most other AI writing tools, they're writing assistants. In other words, they help you write content but they don't create the whole article for you. And if you've ever tried using some sort of AI writing assistant in the past, you'll know that this is probably one of the biggest problems that you have with AI writing assistants. They don't write the whole article. You need to give it a lot of inputs for it to come up with an article. Now it does save you a lot of time versus doing this on your own from scratch, but it still requires some time from you to give it the right inputs to create the kind of article that you want. Whereas Content at Scale is very different to any other AI writing tool that I've ever tested. So far, I'm very, very impressed with this tool and I'm really excited to show you what this tool can actually do and how it could potentially save you a lot of time. Now, if you like what you hear on this video and you wanna give it a go, if you use the link in the description, my referral link, you'll be able to get 20% more credits on any of their paid plans for life. So if you're interested and you like what you see, feel free to use that link if you want to get those extra credits. So let me go through how it all works. So once you've signed up for an account, you'll see a dashboard that looks like this. And to start creating content, all you need to do is click on the add content button on the top right. So click on this, and then here you type in the keywords that you want to rank for, or in other words, what do you want to call the title of this blog? So let's just say we're creating an article on the best drag and drop website builder. So you copy and paste the keyword, or the title that you want to target in here. And also you can click on customize and you can choose which headings that you want it to use in this article. But just to show you what this tool can do without any additional inputs, I'm just going to click on create content now. Now it does take about five minutes for this article to be created because it's not just creating a few lines or a few paragraphs of text. It's actually creating the whole article. It's creating the headings, it's creating all the different paragraphs, any bullet points, and everything that the article needs to be optimized for both users and from a search engine perspective. Okay, so I've just refreshed the page and you can see what the article looks like here. So let's click on it and open it up. So you can see it's created the title, uh, the URL, uh, even the meta description, and you can see the post in here. And if we scroll down and have a look at everything, you can see that it's got different headings for different uh, drag and drop uh, website builders and even an FAQ section and then a conclusion. So this is a good start for the article and you can see it's already done most of it for you. And then what you need to do now is just read through everything, uh, you know, fact check everything uh, and just give it some light editing. So it still does need editing. Uh, I haven't ever found an AI writing tool that doesn't need editing after it's done. But the idea is that this still saves you a lot of time uh, rather than creating the whole article from scratch because it does most of the foundation of the article for you. So if we compare this to another AI writing tool, so let's just do, uh, let me copy this title here and let's just go to Jasper and use their one shot blog post just so you can see the comparison. So for the blog topic, I'm just going to do the best drag and drop website builders and let's click generate and see what happens. Okay, so a few seconds later, so Jasper was a lot quicker, uh, obviously, because it has created a shorter article, but a few seconds later, it's created three different versions of uh, an article around this topic. Uh, so we can see the first version here. We can scroll down and see the second version here. And then we can scroll down and see the third version here. So again, this is a good start. The only uh, problem is, is that it's really not long enough uh, for uh, a blog post. So what you would now need to do with Jasper, uh, you would need to open it in a document in the Jasper document. So let's click on here, open in docs. Uh, and you can see actually here at the top that it only has 330 words uh, compared to the content at scale blog, which had uh, 1000 words. And in my experience, when you create content with content at scale, uh, on average, usually the articles range from anywhere between 1000 to 2000 words. Uh, but it really depends on the topic of the article. Uh, but what you would need to do now with Jasper is you would need to uh, go to one of these topics and you would need to maybe type in some commands of what you want Jasper to do. For example, write the pros and cons of Wix. And then we can write that command and then it will do what you tell it to do. And you would need to do that for 
basically everything in this article. And this is very good. You know, the fact that Jasper can do this is, is really good. Uh, the only downside is that it does require more time. However, the advantage to content at scale is that it already does a lot of this for you. Uh, but let's say there was another tool or software that you wanted to include in here that content at scale didn't include, right? Uh, so there's a drag and drop website builder that I sometimes use uh, for some clients. It's called Rocket Spark. So let's just say we wanted to create an article on this topic. So to do that, you would go here and click on this H and this would be a custom heading. So let's type in Rocket Spark in here and we'll click on add heading. And now, as you can see, it's added another part of the article about Rocket Spark. So if you want to make the article longer and you want to add more to it, you can do it in a similar way to Jasper. Uh, you would just need to use this heading feature to create a custom heading. So it still does require some editing in order to do this. So when you're done with the light editing, what you can then do is you can save it and you can also just copy and paste this directly into your WordPress blog. And in the future, they're also working on a direct integration with WordPress so that you can just click on a button and it will import the article automatically with all the images and all the correct headings and things like that into your WordPress website. So to summarize, the pros of this tool is that it creates long articles very quickly, uh, much quicker than any other AI writing tool. It formats the articles with headings and uh, in some cases, bullet points, quotes, things like that. So the article looks good and easy to read. It also optimizes the article for SEO. So you can see here that it has an optimization dashboard thing. The cons with this tool is that it is a lot more expensive than other AI writing tools. And the reason for that is because this tool is not trying to do what other AI writing tools do. It's not trying to be an AI writing assistant. It's actually trying to replace hiring a copywriter. Uh, and if you compare it to hiring a copywriter, it is still a lot cheaper. So the idea is you just use this tool to create most of the article and then you edit it yourself. Uh, whereas with other AI writing tools, the idea is that as you write the article, you're using the AI writing tool to help you write the article. So it requires a little bit more time, but at the same time, you also get more control as to how you write this article. So. Uh, that would be a little bit of a con on this side though. If you are looking for the cheapest AI writing tool, this won't be it. But if you are already hiring copywriters and you're looking to maybe save some money there, or you're thinking about hiring uh, article writers, then this could be a good alternative for you to test. Uh, because then all you really need to do is get an assistant or someone to just edit the article, or you could even edit it yourself after most of it is written using this tool. And I would just recommend if you're interested in using this tool, just go ahead and try it out for yourself uh, because it doesn't matter what anyone says unless you actually try the tool and see what it's like for yourself, you won't really know. And they do give you a money back guarantee. So you can try it out. You can uh, you know, create different articles with it, see if you like it or not. If you like it, great, you can keep it. If you don't, you can get a full refund. And the same can be said for Jasper as well. So if you are interested in using Content at Scale or Jasper, you can just use the link in the description to get some free credits when you sign up. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.